to my channel. In this video, we will be using only compass and a ruler to draw or to construct angles. And in this video, we want to just construct angle 60 degree and angle 120 degree. So the first thing you do is you take your ruler or your T-square and you draw your horizontal line. First of all, a faint line. Right? Now, you pick up a point. Let's say this point. Let's call it point A. And you pick another point. Let's say this point. We'll call it point B. And I'm going to thicken it. At any given radius of a choice. You can see that. And I'll do the same thing at this point too. I'll pick another point again. Point A. Another one again. Point B. And I'm going to thicken it. Now, the next thing we'll do is we want to construct angle 90 degree. Right? So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take my compass. I'll place it at point A. Right? And I'm going to draw a semicircle this way. You can see that where the semicircle cuts the horizontal line, I'll call it to be my A prime and my what? A prime prime. Now, at any given radius, I'll be doing them simultaneously. I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing too. Constructing angle 90 degree. Just repeating the same fit. This is A prime, right? And this is A prime prime. Now, at any given radius, right? I'm going to extend it at any given radius. And I'll place it at A prime prime. I will strike an arc, right? I'm going to strike an arc. And I'll place it at A prime. I'll strike another arc. Where they meet? I'm going to call it point C. I will now draw a line that will pass through point C upward. If the question says draw angle 90 degree, I will just stick in it. But since my aim is to draw angle 60 degree, I will only place it this way. You can see that? If I told this 90 degree, I am going to tick in this line. And I'll leave it that way. But since my aim is to construct angle 60 degree, I will make it to be a faint line. I'll repeat the same fit here too. I'm going to repeat the same fit here too. What I did earlier, place it here, strike an arc. Place it at this point also, strike another arc. Now, I'll draw a line that will pass through the point where they meet, which I say point C. Alright? Now, this is what we have. If it's 90 degree, I'm going to take in this line, just like the way this line is. But I want to construct 60 degree. Now, when you look at this closely, right? You want to construct 60 degree. With the radius I used to draw this line. That is from A prime here, right? With the radius I'm using to draw this line, you see? To draw this semicircle here, which is um, A prime prime. You can see that. I'm going to take it from A to A prime with the radius I used to draw the semicircle. I'll place it at A prime prime, right? And I'll strike an arc here. Where the arc cuts the semicircle here, that will be the point that will get me my angle 60 degree. So, what will I do? I will just tick in this line because that is what I need. From here, I'm going to what? Tick in it. You can see that? I'm going to what? Tick in it. 
let me make it more visible from this point there's no way around here so that will be the angle 60 degree so it means that from this point here to this point here is 60 degree now this is a special angle right now we can easily confirm to see if we are correct by using our protractor so when i place my protractor this way and showing that this point you see in here is on this point a here right this way and the 90 is at this point here you see that we're having our angle what 60 degree at this point here can see that now the next thing is a trick i'll show you on how to construct angle 60 and angle what 120 degree is that what i did at the right hand side here you know i constructed angle 60 at the right hand side here do you know that angle 60 at the left hand side of this 90 degree here is 120 degree let's try and see the same thing i did here why i used to get my semicircle here right i'll place it at point a prime and i'm going to what strike an arc at the side here why am i striking the arc here because i want my angle to fall at the left hand side this is my line here this is the right hand side this is the left hand side this is my line here this is my right hand side this is the left hand side if i consider the right hand side it is 60 degree if i consider the left hand side it is 120 degree and let's see how that goes and i'll tell you the trick what really happened so if i place it here passing through that point in this manner this will be my angle 120 degree so it means that from this point to this point is 100 and what 20 degree why let me explain to you we know very well that the angle this vertical line here is giving us what 90 degree and this vertical line is also giving us what 90 degree if i construct 60 I'll subtract my 60 from 90. What will I have? 30. And when I add it to 90, it will be what? 120. Do you understand that? The angle I'm drawing is 60 degree at the left hand side. So con subtract it from 90, you'll be having 30. Add it back to 90, you'll be having 120. So the angle, that's how I got my 120. So let's confirm and see if we are on the right track. So my protractor, if I place it here at this manner. What do you notice? Look at it closely. The angle is what? 100 and what? 20 degree. So this is a new trick I'm showing you here. When you construct a 60, this is the right hand side. And this is the left hand side. So when you construct a 60 degree in the right hand side, it is 60. When you construct a 60 degree in the left hand side, the left hand side, that would be what 100 and what 20 degree if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe comment and also share the video thanks for watching if this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe comment and also share the video thanks for watching